Hello. Hello! Okay, so we bought a truck in Thailand and then we're super excited to show it off to everybody and the crazy stories. The first crazy story is my wife's family's reaction to us buying a pickup truck. And they actually took flowers and sprinkled water around it. They were tying strings on the inside, the outside. They were super, super happy. It was a very, very big deal for their daughter and their son-in-law to actually own a vehicle. This is kind of something that they all are driving scooters. And right there, that's my mother-in-law, by the way. And so, yes, I was just super happy myself just witnessing how excited the family was and I was feeding off their energy. And yeah, it was just a great massive celebration. And uh, I'm glad I could share it with all of you as well. It honestly was a game changer once we bought a vehicle. We were always dependent on taxis and that just kind of limits what you can do in Thailand and what tour spots you can go. But once we got our own vehicle, like the sky was the limit. We could go anywhere. Well, not necessarily anywhere because as you can see in this clip, we totally got stuck in the mud and a four wheel drive was not in our budget. But the very first tie that came by stopped and he got us out. He did not want to take any money. We offered like five different times, please, you can take it. And he said no. And that's the Thai culture that I love. And that's why I love Thailand so much is how amazing and nice and sweet the people are. <laughs> We took the truck on top of mountains and this is what you can't do when you're renting or if you're taking a taxi or a grab uh, Uber driver. You can't go exploring up in the mountains and you are just so limited. So I highly, highly recommend if you're going to make Thailand your future home long term, you really need a dependable vehicle and I highly recommend a pickup truck. And you must remember, Thailand is still a developing country, so there's still a lot of improvement that needs to happen in Thailand. And as amazing as wonderful it is, and like I, I think it's a million times better than every other country I've been to, but yes, it still has a lot of developing to do. That's why I can't recommend a pickup truck enough. So one thing I wanted to say though, uh, while we're touring this park is, uh, yeah, Toyota, it was a big deal for them. Uh, they super, super amazing. I mentioned to uh, Toyota, uh, our salesperson that, man, my back's hurting me. Uh, I, I think I took a fall and uh, yeah, my back's hurting me all over again. Uh, he watched my YouTube videos. If you're watching, thank you so much for working with us too. And here's one gift Toyota. I said my back was hurting, so they gave me back support, this little com comfy thing that helps uh, limbar support on your back. Uh, gave us, uh, he saw one of the YouTube videos I was talking about beer in Thailand and I couldn't find it. So one of the gifts they gave was a six pack of custom customized beer and it was amazing too so thank you and my wife gave flowers and gave us a clock and gave us a t-shirt and gave us so many different things my wife actually we forgot to bring the t-shirt today but she wears that t-shirt toyota t-shirt all the time so thank you again uh for a huge gift basket of pillows and uh, a neck pillow and so many different amazing things that toyota actually gave us uh so super super happy from toyota's part uh for all the amazing like i i couldn't even name it. oh and a whole case of like little cup glasses for beer too uh, I, I can't i totally almost forgot about that so yeah i mean the gifts were just endless from toyota i remember in the united states i bought a new uh jeep and guess what nothing just sign the paper there you go have a good day thank you uh <laughs> that was it uh for in thailand it felt special it felt amazing and definitely her entire family's reaction also made it super super amazing too when we bought our vehicle how proud they were of us Okay, let's tour the inside of the truck now. And in case you didn't know already, it is a brand new truck and it was about 24,000 US dollars. And yes, we left the strings on the car that the family tied. I still think it's super, super sweet of them. Compared to like Germany and the United States, uh, the wheel is on the opposite side. Uh, they also drive on the left side of the road. So something to get used to, kind of like the UK or the Virgin Islands of the United States. Uh, they all drive on the left too. Uh, so right here we have 
have, okay, and I believe her mother did this too, uh, bless the car with a string. I'll talk about that later. Uh, so as you can see, this is the front. It has a monitor screen for GPS, all that. It does not have a heater. And you, you would say, oh, you don't need a heater in Thailand, but we actually go up into the mountains. This is a small mountain up here. You can't really see it. The trees are in the way. But uh, yeah, it does get cold. And we had a friend who wished we had heat in the car. She suggested sleeping in the car at one point because it got so cold in the mountains. Okay, so right here, we have the back seat. As you can see, tons of room, three seats, everything's there. Uh, we have cool uh, storage truck. And honestly, that's pretty much it. It's a pre-runner if you're interested. It's a Hulex pre-runner. And I think US, it ran about $24,000. And uh, just to give you a heads up, if you're a foreigner in Thailand, uh, so right now it was based on my income. Uh, so we qualified for a loan and we had to put a down payment down, but it was solely based on my income and how we got the vehicle. Uh, so just to give you a heads up, uh, uh, maybe if you wanna go through the same process, I definitely say go ask Toyota, see if you qualify. Uh, a lot of things, I read ridiculous amounts before we bought a truck. Everybody said as a foreigner, you can't get a truck. It's impossible. They, they, they won't give you a loan. It's impossible, impossible. Like there's so many websites, you Google it. They say it's impossible go ask. Uh, it, it all depends though. It all depends on your circumstances though. So that's the big key right there. Uh, so right here, this is beautiful. And if you're curious where we are, I will put a link in the description down below. We're north of Chiang Mai, Thailand, way up in the north of Thailand. And it's a reservoir just north of the city. And I'll put a link in the description in case you want to come visit here too and look at these beautiful Godzilla, gorilla, elephant statues that I think are made out of hay, bamboo. It's beautiful though. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. And it would greatly mean so much to me that if you would like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. It helps encourage me to make more videos. And I really, really want to. And the next video coming out, and I'm already starting to edit it, is going to be on sheep. And we live right next to this beautiful sheep farm. And I know a lot of people might think, oh, my God, sheep, you're, this is so boring. But anyways, I hope that you enjoy it. And I hope that you want to continue watching different videos of our life in Thailand as we are slowly trying to build a tiny house together. Thank you so much, and I look forward to having you as a future viewer. Have a beautiful day, everybody. Bye. Time. These magazines wanna feed